Hello everyone, uh, my name is Pat Terry. Uh, uh, I work for uh, BIT Solutions as a consultant uh, and uh, an e-logic monitor. Today uh, I would like to show you uh, a small presentation uh, that I prepared for the uh, BRT project uh, for Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. And uh, I would like to show you how a simulation can help uh, help uh, the project planning, how it can make uh, the planning uh, easy, easy, effective and visual. So, uh, what you see on the screen is the main console of uh, any logic uh, professional software. And uh, we have a very small model, model here. Uh, what you see is uh, an intersection with uh, a road intersection uh, with roads coming from all four sides, from east, west, north, and south. And, and in the middle, you see uh, the middle two lanes, uh, which are separate from uh, from the main road lanes, uh, uh, the BRT lanes. And, uh, and we have two traffic lights, so one is the, uh, for, uh, for the main intersection and one is uh, for the pedestrian crossing, uh, for the uh, passenger crossing, uh, uh, for, the road in, inter uh, for the road here. So pretty, uh, so pretty much what happens is uh, the show up in, the, in this area and uh, cross across these uh, these lanes and uh, go to the BRT station, a waiting area. And the BRTs come on the on this lane and come here and pick up the passengers and uh, go through the intersection uh, uh, according to this traffic light and uh, and go out of the system after that. So let me show you. How, uh, let me just run the simulation and show what's going on. So, you see the, uh, the cars, the vehicles are coming from all four sides. And it's uh, here on the bottom. Please follow my mouse uh, uh, for the for uh, what to understand what I am talking about. So I, I am right now hovering over X1, uh, which means that uh, uh, the simulation speed is uh, is real time, so it's quite slow. So real time world is is very slow. So here on the right side we have uh, uh, the view from our 3D cameras. So you can see that that some passengers are waiting uh, here. It has just showed up here and waiting. And to cross the road. Oh, okay, here uh, one BRT bus is coming and one passenger is waiting for the at this station. Okay, now um, the red uh, here's the red light uh, for the cars and the and the passengers are crossing the uh, the road. Yeah, it's very slow, so let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. Okay, one passenger has boarded the BRT. And it's gone. Okay, so here, here you can see what's going on at the intersection. Another BRT has just come. Let's see what's going on there. So some passengers are boarding the BRT, and it left the last passenger. 
We came late, and some passengers are crossing the road. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, one BRT is crossing the road. And, and let's see what's going on as the overall, overall view of our system. Okay, so we have two histograms here. Uh, the left uh, chart, uh, the two charts. Uh, so left chart shows us uh, how long the passengers are waiting at the, at the station. So we have many passengers waiting and the median uh, is about 30 seconds. So I, as I remember, I programmed uh, the BRTs come, to come every 60 seconds, but the passengers are waiting at the station about 30 seconds. The longest ones are waiting about 60 seconds. So, so this is a very efficient system. You know, like every, the BRTs are coming every minute, so very efficient system. So on the right chart, uh, what uh, it shows is uh, the longest time for the BRT come on the east side and leave on the west side was about, about 135 seconds. And the median is about 90 seconds. So pretty much on average, the, uh, the BRTs are spending about an, a minute and a half in this system. So this is very important because uh, once, uh, 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 well, this is a very small model just showing one intersection, but what we can do is uh, uh, we can include the whole map of Ulaanbaatar here. So whole map of the city, the complete city. So in that case, it will be very important to see how long, uh, uh, what's the dispersion of the of this chart, how long the the BRT is uh, uh, spending in the system, how long time, uh, how much time the BRTs are spending in the system. So so now you can see that uh, one BRT spent about two hundred and thirty seconds in the system, while the quickest one was about uh, 60 seconds and for the passengers as well okay so uh, the nice thing about the about the simulation is it's visual and uh, you can see where it, where it is working according to the real life situation I, where it is being, you know, too computer, computer wise, where it is not working according to the real life situation. In that case, we can fix that. Right now, what uh, you can see is that, uh, well, BR, uh, this BRT has just come to the intersection, but it's uh, still waiting because it was still waiting because the, when, when the light was green, because uh, it's giving the right of way to the traffic coming from the right side. But we can change that programmatically, you know, we can uh, give the uh, right of way to the BRTs and see what, what, what will happen. And we can make up uh, many different uh, what if scenarios. Let's stop the simulation. And let me show you something else. So, so we have a nice thing here in oh, wow, it's very slow right now. Okay, anyways, I, I haven't turned on this uh, feature. So we have a nice feature here in any logic. We can log model ex execution. So we can uh, get all the information uh, uh, what uh, what really happened in the in the simulation, but uh, um, well, that, that's uh, that, that's a nice thing because we can get every small detail of what have happened in the simulation, and we can make the analysis analysis on that one. And after, and uh, well, nice thing about the simulation is uh, we can change uh, small things, like we can change the 
uh, the sequence of these of this uh, traffic light. Uh, we can change uh, the sequence of this traffic light and see uh, how it will affect our system. And we can optimize through that. Uh, we can optimize the, these traffic lights. So we can optimize uh, uh, the the schedule of the BRT, like uh, how long. Uh, you know, how many times an hour the BRTs, how many BRTs are coming in an hour or, or in a day or in a, in a specific time of the day. Uh, here I included the, uh, yeah, I, I made uh, the BRTs come every 60 seconds, but in real life that's impossible. So uh, we can uh, uh, make some statistical observation and uh, include that uh, as a database. Uh, the nice thing is uh, we can include that database or we can include the standard distribution, uh, the uh, triangular distribution, uniform distribution or uh, any distribution, uh, distribution that uh, we can uh, extract uh, from the statistics or uh, from our projections. So, so we, we can do uh, pretty much everything uh, everything here. As I said before, we can include the whole complete map of Ulaanbaatar and we can complete, include the complete uh, network of Ulaanbaatar. And uh, after, after including the BRTs, we can include the, the other, other buses, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, small buses uh, which would feed the BRTs and see how the com whole of Ulaanbaatar public transportation is working and uh, we can animate actually and see how the BRTs are going to affect the, uh, the other traffic of, of Ulaanbaatar. Uh, we, we can see how long for the passengers, uh, how, the, how long the passengers are spending uh, the time from A to B. Uh, and and we can uh, see many different things uh, and we, we can get wh whatever we want from the simulation. So hopefully uh, this, uh, the simulation will be very helpful for you and it is my greatest pleasure to let you know that uh, uh, we, can, uh, we have a company here in Ulaanbaatar that can assist such, such uh, huge projects such as BRT and uh, we, we are really, really looking forward in working with you together. Thank you.